Professor Jai Shankar, he's currently the founding principal director and professor of criminology and crime science of the International Institute of Crime and Security Sciences, Bangalore. Professor Jai Shankar was earlier the uh, directly appointed full professor and head of the Department of Criminology at Raksha, Raksha Shakti University, now Rashtriya Raksha University, Gandhinagar, Gujarat. He was a Commonwealth Fellow for 2009 to 2010 at the Center for Criminal Justice Studies, School of Law, University of Leeds. He is uh, also the founder president of SASWI, South Asian Society of Criminology and Victimology, and also the founder and uh, founder and executive director of CCVC, Center for Cyber Victim Counseling. He's the founding father of cyber criminology, an academic subdiscipline of criminology, and the proponent of the space transition theory. He is the recipient of the prestigious Nasi Scopus Young Scientist Award for Social Sciences in the year 2012. He's an international ambassador of the British Society of Criminology, BSC, and a UN expert on issues of victims of terrorism. He was recently ranked the 16th among the top 20 influential criminologists in the world in 2010 to 2020 by academic influence on academic rank ranking site Texas, USA. He earned a BSc in biochemistry from the PSG College of Arts and Science uh, and MA in criminology and PG diploma in GIS management and a PhD in criminology and the, uh, from the University of Madras, Chennai. His areas of academic competence are cyber criminology, victimology, crime mapping, GIS, communal violence, policing and crime prevention. Welcome, sir. Uh, thank you, Lipakshi. Dear participants, uh, I'm very happy to welcome you all for the first uh, international workshop of the International Institute of Crime and Security Sciences. Um, National Institute of Crime and Security Sciences is launched by me uh, in the month of August 1 and now uh, we are <coughs> around four, four months old. Uh, that Within this four month of launch we have assigned MOUs with five uh, institutions and individuals and we are progressing um, further. Uh, the main aim of uh, the International Institute of Crime and Security Sciences is to develop a field called Crime Science. Uh, which uh, emanated in 2001 in the University College of London uh, called as Jill Dando Institute of Crime Science. Crime Science integrates uh, multidisciplinary fields such as criminology, law, sociology, psychology, architecture, forensic sciences, medicine, odontology and uh, civil engineering uh, also. So uh, we look uh, crime from a uh, applied perspective. We are planning to conduct uh, several workshops which will be helpful for the people who are already into criminology departments and other departments uh, to take up our programs on either on the kind of workshops or webinars or cyber discussion or our certificate or diploma programs uh, which will be very helpful for them in future to get a uh, job or to pursue a career or pursue a, a PhD program. So um, maximum we will try to ensure that the quality of the programs are maintained and we are bringing um, wonderful experts across the world to contribute to our institute and uh, today we have Ms. Julian Kenny, a seasoned forensic uh, psychologist uh, who has contributed to the field significantly and uh, I'm very happy uh, Julian you are here. Thank you very much. To see the perspective from criminal and forensic psychology is more into looking into the mind from a different perspective. So when it comes to criminal psychology, we are looking into the minds of the people, especially who are into the criminal justice system, starting from the police to the uh, judiciary to the correctional officials and also the minds of the offenders and victim per se. So it's a more in-depth reading. However, forensic psychology is a little bit an applied part where it comes uh, in a different perspective compared to criminal psychology itself. So now um, I find that uh, there, there are some universities which are offering, offering programs on um, uh, forensic psychology itself. For example, Rashtriya Raksha University, uh, National Forensic Sciences University or offering MA program in um, forensic psychology. However, the criminal psychology is a part of uh, the curriculum of uh, most of the criminology departments across the uh, country. And I am saying that we are trying to integrate these two disciplines, especially criminal and forensic psychology together in this workshop. And um, that way, uh, Ms. Julian will take you uh, step by step to that process. So we have divided uh, this workshop into two parts, one as a basic one and other as an advanced one uh, for the benefit of the students. 
and uh, the integration of basic and advanced will happen in a way that people today will be understanding the uh, nuances of uh, forensic and criminal psychology from a basic perspective and later on Julian will take you uh, to the advanced level. So this is only a, a workshop. So uh, maximum Julian will try to provide you the knowledge and the wisdom of this particular fields. However, um, two days uh, may not be that much sufficient from my understanding. So uh, um, we will be starting certificate and uh, diploma programs in criminal forensic psychology from January on onwards. As per the new education policy of the government of India, any student can pursue two programs simultaneously and they can get certified. So that way I welcome you all to join our certificate or a diploma program in as an add-on to your existing undergraduate program in criminology or psychology or a master's program in criminology or psychology which you are currently pursuing into. So um, uh, we are launching around 10 programs of such nature, certificate and diploma programs and uh, it, this will be in a hybrid mode. So. Um, if you are in Coimbatore, if you are in Delhi, wherever you can, you, are, you can uh, pursue this program. And um, as such, uh, the International Institute of uh, Crime and Security Sciences believes in social justice. Uh, normally, our fee structure will be comparatively low uh, to any other elitist institutions. However, to keeping to run the institute, we do require money and uh, we will be moderate. However, uh, if any uh, university or a college is sending a large number of candidates to our institute, we are very open for discount. In fact, in this program also, we have given some discount to some of the colleges which have sent more number of people. So that we see that there is a mutual uh, beneficiary aspect is happening in this particular workshop. And this will be a routine event uh, from this month onwards from November. So next week, uh, we are going to conduct a international workshop on research methods and quantitative techniques by Professor Geeta Suresh from the University of Louisville from the USA. Uh, so that will be also following the same structure and model where a basic workshop will be there in the Saturday and the Sunday it will be the advanced workshop. So we also try to limit our workshops um, to 10 to 3.30 so that you can uh, have your free time in the Saturdays and Sundays and uh, you can also think over what you have learnt on that day and introspect more on that. Um, as pointed, I told you that uh, uh, you are most welcome to join our uh, institute WhatsApp group uh, so that continuously you will be getting more information and now that um, Ms. Lipakshi has started a WhatsApp group for the IICS workshops. So this workshop uh, WhatsApp group will continuously post the all other programs and also uh, 27th of this month uh, we are going to have one more uh, webinar on criminal psychology by expert uh, Dr. Subra Sanyal, a senior person in the field of criminal psychology and that will be purely focusing on criminal psychology and not in forensic psychology and it will be a webinar for uh, uh, two hours on a, on a Sunday that is 27. So please uh, join that program also for uh, a kind of understanding on criminal psychology and uh, the uh, idea of uh, IICSS to conduct various programs in various formats is working on. So we will have formats such as this workshop one and then we have cyber discussion which is uh, normally a dialogue between the people who are participating in the program and the expert and we have webinars which will be uh, more in uh, kind of a lecture mode and uh, we are also organizing international conferences. So January 27 and 28 we are organizing the 5th International Conference of the South Asian Society of Criminology and Victimology and uh, where we have collaborated with an eminent institution like RV University in Bangalore and that program will be conducted there. And the main theme of the particular conference is cyber criminology, law, security and forensics and victimology, a holistic blend. So we are trying to integrate various fields of cyber including criminology, law, security and forensics. So that way uh, if you are interested, feel free to submit papers. We have four slots of submissions. Now the last date for the first submission would be on November 15. So please feel free to submit your papers and also register for the conference. So we uh, at SASV and also IACS believe quality should be maintained in any context. So normally SASV conferences we have a rejection rate of 40 to 30 percentage would be there. So quality less papers will be weeded out. Only quality papers will be uh, given priority. And uh, uh, that uh, we ensure uh, that the criminological understanding in the country as well as abroad would be more 
uh, appreciated that uh, we do from the South Asian part uh, a kind of a quality programs and we will never compromise on the quality of any of the programs of SASB or IICS and you are also most welcome to join our institute as interns so, so when you get winter vacation when you get uh, any time so accordingly you can join and preferably we do that uh, offline uh, internship however if you have your regular programs disturbing you so we can move on to hybrid mode where you can uh, do online for some period of time and after that you can uh, come back uh, uh, for a week or so and stay with us and uh, do the uh, internship. So at uh, our internships uh, covers any every part of criminology, criminal justice, law, psychology, sociology uh, from an academic angle. But apart from academic angle, a non-academic angle also we do want interns who will help us to grow uh, web designers, content writers, um, even uh, people who can uh, uh, run our uh, uh, new uh, YouTube channel. All these type of things we are expecting and uh, since we are a startup, um, we would require uh, all your support. Uh, so I believe that uh, we uh, we have people in our WhatsApp group even uh, from the age group of uh, 15 to 78, uh, starting from school students uh, to vice chancellors to former D DGPs and uh, former correctional officials and uh, academics and journalists and medical doctors also. So we uh, work, IACS work on the principle of call popper called as open society. So we work for openness and democracy and that way any views which you are bringing in, uh, you can be very open with us. You can tell that uh, if you can change this, we, we are willing to change. So we are very open for any suggestions uh, which will be in line of thought with the uh, institute that is openness and democracy. So once again, I uh, welcome you all uh, to this uh, uh, important international workshop and uh, Please keep supporting our institute. Thank you very much.